Hello and welcome back to the top 100 maps of all time with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B, you're very, very welcome. And we are up to number 74. Now, if you're new to the series and you're thinking 74 doesn't sound very high, remember, this is 74 out of over 50,000 maps on the workshop. Every single map on this series is community voted. It's one of the very best maps you will find on the workshop. And while today's map might be your favorite map of all time, or it's actually not to your taste, tomorrow's map might be because these are exceptional maps within each and every own genre. So if you're not looking for a coastal map, today's map won't be for you. Tomorrow's map might be. I've not looked at it, I can't tell you, but uh, <laughs> every map is a surprise to me as they are reopened. So anyway, what can I tell you about today's map? Well, it's Turbo Torsk by Bulletproof Coconut. Now, Bulletproof Coconut, not one of the better known creators, and the one thing I'm loving with this series is, yes, sure, the big name creators, the big, big names, you're going to keep hearing them over and over and over again because every time they produce a map and they're fairly prolific, a lot of them, they are top performers. And then you get someone like Bulletproof Coconut who comes along with this map and they're, they're in there solidly. That's 74, solidly, solidly, solidly in the top 100 maps of all time. So I just got to say credit, credit to Bulletproof Coconut beautiful work now this is norway inspired and so uh, we are off to that part of the world turbo torsk apparently sort of kind of nearly means shark in norwegian it's probably partly mispronunciation from me but also probably uh, maybe a slight tweak on the word as well I, i'm not sure but that's from the uh, that's from the workshop page it's uh, shark in norwegian but not quite so anyway, we're at number 74. This has an 87.5% approval rating, one of three maps with that score. We have another one, a third and final one coming up tomorrow. The map was uploaded to the workshop in December of 2021. It currently has 458 subscribers on the workshop, including 95 who have marked the map as a favorite. That's a four star rating on Steam and that's from 35 people who have voted. It uses mass transit, you will need mass transit for this one. On top of that, there's a medium length list really. We've got 40 items on the list. Uh, there is a theme mix which uh, contributes a little bit from that, which includes the Coos Bay theme, the Not So Rocky Hills theme, the Stray Cats Territory Homecoming and Nature Reserve themes. We're also using Relight Average. And on top of that, also listed is Procedural Objects and Railway Replacer 2, although I can't remember what procedural objects are used on this. I'm, there may have been a little rock work or something. Maybe we'll have a look at that as I go the flyover. That's, the, the great thing with these maps is, I, while I remember this map, because I reviewed this fairly recently, at episode 1427, I gave this four stars for aesthetics, four for detail, and four for gameplay potential. Um, very solid scores, um, a beautiful map. I don't remember that much about it. I do recall it, and I'm sure when we get down to ground level, which we're gonna do now, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sort of like, a lot of it's gonna come flooding back because it is a very recent map. But um, I, right now, I can't tell you that much about it. I'm thinking the start square is about here. That makes sense. Let's have a little look at, there we go. So actually, I'm really liking the peninsula start square here. Because if you are gonna do any pump and draw in terms of water, you've got access on basically all of all four sides of the start square without it being an island that's that's a pretty neat thing i know a lot of people will uh, really appreciate that um, in terms of design um road layouts i think we'll start down here i think um, we'll just follow the road um up we'll go across the, what looks like it's going to be a big old bridge and then we'll take a left and we'll just do what we normally do, just do a little uh, little recap on the map, a map that we've not seen for a little while. A uh, little while is um, is the best way I'm going to describe that. But yeah, it's uh, I've kind of bland out here, but uh, edge of the map, what do you want? Also, maybe it's supposed to be a bit bland. Look at the, um, the change of terrain. I kind of remember this actually, kind of remember this. Remember being a little bit wowed by it. Um, very clearly part of um, the Coos Bay 
um, textures because uh, the Kuzume texture is so clever. So, so clever. I love it. A um, little bit of, depending on the angle we look at the road in the distance there, a um, little glitching in of the road. So that can happen the to the best of creators. And definitely happened to me on, um, on well, where are we? St. Catherine's Point, where my road, right close to the edge of the map, is it something actually to do with being close to the edge of the map? Because I think my highway was about this sort of distance from the edge of the map where it was glitching like that. Maybe, maybe it's something to do with distance to the edge of the map. Anyway, um, I was definitely taken by the way that the the silt is built up around the pillars along here. So that's a neat little detailing touch. And um, yeah, big fan of that. And we'll head our way into the map. So yes, um, not the heaviest in terms of workshop content, and little intersection there just allowing a little little off off-road traffic come down to the industrial area behind us which I'm sure we'll come and have a look at a little bit later as we come back across the map but yeah it's uh look at the mountain line there beautiful 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 never been to Norway never been to many places <laughs> Haven't but basically been anywhere for um, 40 years plus, <laughs> but I love it. Uh, you, you guys, you tra guys transport me to different places, and I that I love that with City Skylines, especially in the, like the map making community where you go. And this is like where I live, and you go, is it really? Wow, who knew that that was even a thing? Anyway, so I love little crossovers going on there. With the mass transit roads in there. Um, I don't know if this is something. I'm seeing this on a few of them. A little separation there. I don't know whether that was. Oh, hello. Have we got a bit of stop start traffic? What's going on up here? Will one of you guys. Oh, start start a map. Let's, let's just get rid of this guy and everybody will start rolling. Excuse me. You can. Oh, you can go as well. Off you go. There we are. It should all start moving now. Just needs one idiot falling asleep at the wheel. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so little things like this. If we see anything glitching like this, ignore this. The original review, the link to that is in the description. And um, if, there, if there is anything missing now, then um, it's because I haven't spent hours setting up the map for a review. We just loaded up the map fairly quickly with the settings and hopes that everything will work fine. That's kind of how I'm feeling with this. And um, it's just, uh, there may be possibly one or two minor glitches. So remember, um, if you find, if you see anything you're not liking, go back and watch the original review and that will hopefully correct any problems, hopefully. I think this is where we're going now, isn't it? Waiting off this way. Oh, I love that mountain directly ahead of us. Right, slap bang middle there. That is a great shape. Norway, beautiful country, beautiful country. Beautiful people, apart from when they beat us at soccer. <laughs> Hasn't happened for a while, but boy, when you do, it's, yeah, you rub it in. You truly do. <laughs> and quite right too, quite right too. <laughs> oh man. We do up ourselves a bit, don't we, in the United Kingdom? England, best football team in England. <laughs> um, right, I'll be close to the start square. I thought we were. There we go. That's where we are. So, start square intersection. A little bit interesting. We have this this loop around the top of the um, this rocky outcrop there. That's interesting shape. We have the little roundabout, rune the boot, sort of elevated, but not leading into this really interesting crossover very very interesting and then down into this i mean maybe it's not going to handle the heaviest of traffics but is this going to be the heavy of traffic heaviest of traffics kind of area plus remember we also have rail coming down here as well which will take some of the weight off of the traffic and um, I've got Railway Replacer Mod in, and I thought I'd switched everything off, but I, um, I clearly haven't. So again, ignore that. That's just Railway Replacer Mod. I could go in and switch that one off, but 
We're into the review now. Just just ignore the, the elevated rails. They don't exist, okay? <laughs> I'm going to switch them off if I, if I really bothered now. Um, I thought I'd done it. <laughs> I really did. Uh, anyway, a little bit of pre-built imagined infrastructure going on there just to inspire you into how you might want to build. But of course, you can completely ignore that and do your own thing. I know a lot of people do and a lot of people will. Um, I don't even know where to start with this map. How about we go with the, out, the offshore islands? The offshore islands are just very sweet, okay? You're probably not going to do a huge build out here. But you can come up with something a little bit. I mean, one of these you could do as, like, as a little holiday resort, a little retreat. Or you could do maybe a prison island. Yeah, how about over here? Prison island over here, maybe? Or you could have this as like a landfill island. I do like the um, the tree painting here, actually. That, that, that works really well for me. It's just a little different. And works really well with the, um, with the grass textures. Let's come down here, have a little look at this island over here. It's nice. It is an island, actually, isn't it? It's just separated from the mainland by this bridge. Ah, the essential lighthouse, isn't she lovely in red? Ah, oh, oh, oh. uh, and uh, of course the dilapidated uh, pier. That's been clipped very nicely into the environment. Never let it not be said I can give credit where it's due. Credit where it's due, that clips very nicely into the environment. And it's a good height as well. I've got a feeling is there a missing asset or something from here? I'm definitely subscribed to everything. That one thing I did check is that I'm subscribed to everything. Uh, procedural objects is is open. It's on there. Here we go. Let me go into that. So we have we have procedural objects going on here. Is the um, the entire lighthouse a procedural object? Yeah, apparently that is a procedural object. Well, there we go. Um, anyway, so procedural objects is definitely in operation. So if this is a procedural object thing, um, I don't recall what was there. Was it some sort of um, um, statue or something? I don't know, but yeah, kind of like in the way that the power comes down to ground. Not necessarily how it drops into the ground there. Um, I reckon that is a a map load issue. Again, um, I'm not getting chances to check this before loading up. It's just the way that it is. It's a quick, quick refresher of of what there is on the workshop. Some of these things will easily resolve themselves when you re when you uh, load the map up if you follow the instructions properly, which probably is where what's failed here. Um, little valley there. Loving also, again, with the theme mix, I'm really liking the um, the lushness of the grass and the way it transitions into almost the coldness, the coldness of the rock. That is a really striking uh, combination there of those two things. And I think the tree mix that we've gone with really complements the the grass textures that we've got. The uh, the greenery just all works really aesthetically it's really very um it's almost understated I'm gonna, i was always gonna say pleasing i'm not gonna say pleasing i'm gonna say it's understated little power station there okay, we've got power coming down from the wind turbines but yes uh, understated just because it's not it's not one of those maps where you look at and you go oh my word that's the most beautiful thing i have ever seen it's it's just it's gentle and it just draws the eye in and the tree painting is again it's it's if anything a little bit underdone and good absolutely good i'm glad to a to a to an extent to a degree we've got a little bit of field painting down here as well again just a little bit underdone in fact, there you go, your field painting is literally just a few lines of small trees. 
with a little break in them and a little break in them you could go well that's where the gates are or it's just to make it imperfect i would say it's more to make it imperfect and i think actually that can uh, real make make up feel a lot more realistic if there is an imperfection in a detailing but a deliberate one you know round here we had um there was a connection that goes all the way around the outside we've got another potential start location down there and um loops again we've got some beautiful some beautiful visuals on this map I, it feels feels very wet it feels very very wet the, the number of lakes that have tucked in there and again add that to the lushness of the green the lushness of the green just makes you feel that this there's a lot of wetness dampness in the soil i know it's all um, it, it's computer it's not there's no dampness in the soil but all of this just feels feels quite nice Feels quite nice. That's another statement of the year, isn't it? Oh man. And then this area down here, just a little bit different. Looks like slight change in textures down there. I'm getting definitely some glitching going on in this part of the map right now with the roads just glitching in and out and that road glitching in and out. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that at all. Um, if it was a problem, it wouldn't be in the top 100. You guys wouldn't have voted it in so highly. Um, we also have a little dirt track that heads up into the into the mountains. I'll take one last little look at this, and then we'll settle the um, camera down. So yeah, it's one of those one of those um, coastal and mountain style maps that just has some really nice visuals in it. And if you're looking for if you're looking for a map exactly like this, then you've found one. You've found one. This just ticks a lot of boxes. Again, if you're looking for a big flat buildable space, not for you. I get it. I get it. You know, don't subscribe to it if it's just not what you're after. But um, heads up. Oh, heads up to the um, to the peak, to the pinnacle. Oh wow. Well, what a way to finish this little uh, episode. If this has got a good visual, we might leave the camera up here. There we are. Um, how am I feeling about that as a... Do you know what? Why not? Can I... Can I grab a bit more visual in there? How about... How about... That? There we are. That'll do for me. So, there you go, Turbo Torsk by Bulletproof Coconut. Uh, Norway inspired, coastal, got some mountains in there, uh, well built out road network, some really lovely tree work as well. Um, procedural objects are in place. Uh, I I'm, I'm feeling that the little load hasn't loaded in properly, but it's. I, I can't spend hours on this one. We're just going to accept that um, if we go back and look at the original review, hopefully that. Well, I mean, you, you guys rated this really highly off of that one. So 87.5% approval rating for Turbo Torsk by Bulletproof Coconut. You know it's a good map. This is definitely a good map. Anyway, thanks for watching, for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing, and for joining me for episode um, episode 26. <laughs> this episode, uh, there'll be another one along tomorrow with another one of the top performing maps of all time as we get our way down to number one. A big shout out to all the bonbon buddies on Patreon and on YouTube membership for supporting the channel. I love you all very, very much. I'll see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching.